President Rodrigo Duterte designates Vice President Lenny Robredo as co-chairperson of the Interagency Committee on Anti-Illegal Drugs Tuesday, November 5. Duterte signed the memorandum on October 31, saying the Vice President will lead the government's efforts against illegal drugs until 30 June 2022 unless sooner revoked. Duterte also directs the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, or PIDEA, the Philippine National Police, the Dangerous Drugs Board, and other law enforcement agencies to assist and cooperate with Robredo for the anti-drug campaign. Before the release of the memorandum, PIDEA Chief Aaron Aquino said Robredo will surely fail if she accepts the offer to be the country's drug czar. The Vice President spokesperson Barry Gutierrez hits Aquino saying, quote, how would you be able to perform your job well if as early as now the people you would be working with are saying they don't want you to succeed? It's getting clearer what the real agenda here is. The Batanga City Council honors Captain Manolo Ebora for standing up to Chinese vessels in Scarborough Shoal. In the City Council Tuesday, November 5, Ebora says he did not violate any local or international law when he and his all-Filipino crew passed by the area on September 30. So, po yung pag uh, ko yun, at uh, intention yun ay sa sarili kong uh, pag-anais o pag yung pagsagot ko sa kanila bilang ako po ay isang Pilipino at uh, uh, pinaglalaban ko na namin noong time na yun yung ang aming karapatan. But House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano downplays the alleged harassment as nothing new. He calls it basic protocol. So that is an SOP, protocol yun sa lahat ng country to keep asserting. So if you're just asserting, uh, that's okay. Pero kung hinaharap mo na yung ship or iniimpid mo na yung freedom of navigation, ibang usapan yun. Foreign Secretary Teddy Boyloxin also refuses to call out China over the incident, saying it would compromise the employment of thousands of seafarers. Maritime law expert Jay Batong Baca likens the statements of Cayetano and Loxin to quote, public surrender of Philippine interest to the Scarborough Shoal. A tornado hit several barangays in Marawi City Monday, November 4. Philippine Information Agency Northern Mindanao Regional Director Frank Gumapon says the tornado affected five barangays in the city. Videos on social media show the vortex as the winds picked up and the rain came. As the winds got stronger, the tornado started moving around the city. The City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office estimates the damage caused by the tornado to be at least 720,000 pesos. Facebook unveils a new logo Monday, November 4 to represent its corporate identity distinct from its core social network. The new branding will be stamped on its offerings, including WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, Oculus, Workplace, Portal, and Calibra. Chief Marketing Officer Antonio Lucio says the new company logo will further distinguish the Facebook company from the Facebook app, which will keep its own branding. Tennis champion Rafael Nadal's vulnerability to late-season injuries resurfaces as he was forced out of the Paris Masters with an abdominal muscle strain. Nadal has been dealing with persistent injuries over the years. The latest problem put his participation in the ATP Tour Finals in the Davis Cup in doubt. Nadal also withdrew from the Paris Masters before the quarterfinals on his last appearance in 2017 with a knee problem and missed last year's tournament with another abdominal injury. <music> 